dissolve a nation and to prosecute the war of Germany to a victorious conclusion. To form an administration of this scale and complexity is a serious undertaking in itself. But it must be remembered that we are at the preliminary stage of one of the greatest battles in history. And that we are actually at many other points in Norway and Holland. And that we have to be prepared for the Mediterranean. The air battle is continuous. And by many preparations, have to be made here, at home. And in this crisis, I hope I may be pardoned if I do not address to this house at any length today. And I hope that any of my friends or colleagues or former colleagues who are affected by the political reconstruction shall make an allowance, all allowance, for any lack of ceremony which is necessary to act. And I'll say to this house, as I have said to the people who have joined this government, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. We have before us an ordeal of the most grievous kind, and we have before us many months of struggle and suffering. And you may ask, what is our policy? And I can say it is to wage war by land, sea, and air. To wage war with all our might and strength that God has given us. To wage war against the monstrous tyranny never surpasses in the dark. An animal catalog of human crime. That is our policy. And you may ask, what is our aim? And I can say with one word, it is victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all danger. Victory no matter how long and hard the road may be. For without victory, there is no survival. And let this be realized. No survival for the British Empire no survival for what the British Empire stood for. No survival for the urge and the impulse of the ages that mankind can move forward towards its goals. And I will take up my task with buoyancy and hope. And I feel sure that our cause shall not be suffered to fail among men. And now I feel entitled to claim with the aid of all. And I say, come then. Let us go forward together with our united strength. Blood. Toil, tears, and sweat by Winston Churchill.